Hello, I'm Bushra from QA Milestone. In this video, we are going to see Cypress with Cucumber. In case you aren't aware of the nitty gritty of Cucumber, I would recommend giving this blog post a quick read. Okay, so assuming you have read the post or already know Cucumber, we shall now begin. So we'll be using a plugin, this plugin, Cypress Cucumber Preprocessor. So let's go ahead and install it in our project. Now, to use a preprocessor, you should bind to the file preprocessor event in your Cypress, Plugins, Index.js. And then in Cypress.json, you need to add this to support feature files. And finally, in package.json, we need this this will become the default option in future versions so the setup is done let's now see how to structure the feature and the step definition files so the recommended structure is cypress integration folder would contain all your dot feature files and cypress integration would contain a folder with the name same as the feature file name which would contain your step definition files for that particular feature file so let's create a feature file say a feature to be tested is login so we'll create a new file let's call it login.feature Okay, so we have moved it out and it is directly in integration folder. Here is the content for our feature file. Feature is login and its description is I want to log into conduit application. The scenario name is conduit login. Given I open conduit login page, when I type in username and password, and I click on sign in button then your feed should be shown pretty straightforward scenario but as you can see gherkin keywords aren't highlighted so if you want them to be highlighted you can install a visual studio code extension go here and search for cucumber and the first one here is what we need let's install it It has been installed. Let's go back to our feature file and look. Our keywords are highlighted now. And now it is so much more readable. So now that we have our feature file ready, let's go ahead and create a step definition for it. So as we had discussed, we need to create a folder under integration folder with the name same as our feature file. Okay, so in integration, we are going to create a folder and the name of the folder should be login. Now within this folder, we are going to create our step definition file. Let's call it login.js and your step definition could be named anything, but the folder that contains it needs to have the exact same name as the feature file name. So our feature file is login and hence the folder needs to be login. And the step definition file could be named anything as you wish. So now let's add code here. 
let's go through it so we have given i open conduit login page which will launch the application to show the login page next we have when i type in username and password so here we are typing in the username and the password when i click on the sign in button then your feed should be shown and that is what we are verifying here so there you have a simple cypress test case written in cucumber now let's see how to create reusable functions so let's say you would like to have a generic function for then your feed should be shown meaning if we have some other text other than your feed this function should be able to handle that achieving this is very simple all you need to do is in your feature file here just wrap the text in double quotes so we'll wrap your feed in double quotes and then in your step definition file you need to have string in curly braces instead of the text and here we'll have a parameter and we'll use it here so this parameter would be of type string and would contain the text wrapped in double quotes in your feature file right so that was easy to do now another important thing is using data tables let's see how to use data tables here so um, say we would like to pass the credentials through a data table let's do that let's remove username and password from here and we'll create the data table so that's our data table we have got username and password and these are the values for them now to use it okay so here let's first rename this okay so here we would need a parameter and now to read values from the data table we would use data table hashes for each element and then we would have this within this for each and we'll remove these values instead we'll use element dot username and element dot password so let's now run this and see now here we only see one feature file no spec.js files because that is what we have specified in cypress.json here okay so let's run this and so there we have our scenario running successfully excellent okay so this is good but say you have a big project with many scenarios and would like to run only specific scenarios say only the scenarios necessary for smoke testing so for that you can use tags so let's give our scenario a tag smoke let's close this Let's now run this and we'll run it through command line. 
So this is the command you need in order to run this test with some specified uh, tags. So instead of specifying smoke here, you could also specify not smoke to run all scenarios except for those that are uh, tagged as smoke. Or you could have something like uh, smoke and not UI to run all smoke tests, but not the scenarios that have been tagged UI and so on. And then there's this very useful tag, focus. If you have this particular tag set for one or more scenarios, only those scenarios would run and no other scenario with any other tag or without any tag would run. So this is very useful while development and bug fixing. So I hope you get to use this super friendly plugin to exploit the benefits of BDD in your Cypress projects. Have a good day.